What's up YouTube, your boy Chris out in the Caliente Garage. In this video, I will be installing this signal magnet traffic light changer that I picked up, part number E88-6116. And basically, this magnet is used to mount on the bottom of your uh, motorcycle and it creates a magnetic force over the uh, induction loop detector and it will signal the uh, traffic light to change. If you guys have ever sat at a red light on your motorcycle and it didn't change and you find yourself waiting on a car to pull up, uh, this is the reason why with that particular uh, intersection that has the induction loop detector, I'm going to mount this magnet on the bottom of the gold wing. So when I'm sitting at a red light, it will assist in changing the traffic light. So let's just go ahead and open it up. Very simple. It's just a magnet. It comes with 3M tape that you can mount uh, to the bottom of your motorcycle or your bicycle. Comes with a few zip ties and an alcohol pad. Some directions. That gives you some information about it. Very simple directions. I'm going to set that to the side. And again, this magnet is used to change the traffic light. When you find yourself sitting at an intersection, this magnet will pass over the induction loop that's embedded in the ground, interfering with the magnetic force or interfering with the magnetic loop and causing the traffic uh, light to change. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing installed on the bottom of the gold wing. Looking at the gold wing underneath, you have a lot of plastic parts, nowhere to stick the magnet. I'm going to remove this bottom piece off the belly pan and mount it underneath. That way it'll sit directly over the street at the lowest point of the motorcycle. You can mount this magnet anywhere on the bottom. Uh, that will stick for me. I'm just going to mount it on the bottom of this, this plate. I'm going to drill some holes and mount it to the bottom of the plate with some zip ties. But first I want to get some of this dirt cleaned up. Just want to clean some of this roll grime off of it. May even try a little simple green. Get some of this. Just want to clean it up before I install the magnet. If you notice that the magnet will not stick to this aluminum and I don't trust this tape to hold it, I'm going to secure it with some zip ties. And any magnet will do. You can buy a magnet at Harbor Freight. Uh, they sell cheap magnets you can mount on the bottom of your motorcycle. Uh, this one is just specific for motorcycles. I'm going to take the 3M tape.
nice and tight. Now I can clip those ends. So now that I have the magnet installed on the bottom, it's not going anywhere. Two side tape on one side and a couple zip ties. I mean, you can mount the magnet anywhere on the motorcycle or your uh, bike or scooter. Uh, just long as it's near the ground. Uh, for me, it's just easier to put it on this uh, belly pan plate. If you have a belly pan, if not, you got to find a spot on the bottom of the motorcycle to mount it. And now that I have the magnet installed on the bottom of the belly pan underneath the gold wing, I don't have to wait for a car to pull up to change the traffic light if that traffic light has an induction loop detector the magnet on the bottom of the gold wing will interfere with the electromagnetic field on the induction loop and it will change the red light for me. So no more waiting at the red light, waiting for the light to change if it has one of those induction loop detectors at that intersection. Well, anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments about anything you have seen here today, feel free to put it down in the comment section below. Your comments just may help someone. This is your boy Chris out in the Cali and garage did a five minute installation of this magnet for the bottom of the gold wing. And I'll put the part number down in the description below. If you guys want to purchase a magnet like this for your motorcycle or scooter. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. See you.